<laughs> it's working. Okay, I know I've said I'm excited before, but it, today is like next level. But like literally level. I, I didn't plan that, seriously. Gosh. So this is the I-Level AP, and that AP stands for autopilot. That's right, we're putting an autopilot inside of the Red Rocket. A little overkill, but hey, it is going to be awesome. And what is awesome is this box and everything that it's capable of doing. This is literally going to be the heart of my avionics. It is going to provide all the information that I need to be able to fly. That I mean, the EFIS, engine information, everything's going to be displayed to me on an iPad. So let me show you what this guy comes with and how it works. All right, first, let's take a second to just appreciate how small this is for the amount of technology and stuff that it, it really, truly has inside of it. You can see it, it, it comes with ADS-B. We've got GPS in, dynamic pressure, static pressure. Uh, it also has an port for an SD card to be able to uh, track everything that's going on inside of the airplane. So uh, yeah, this is a lot, I mean, for such a small package. And the way it works is it takes all that information and it broadcasts it to an iPad or a smartphone or a device of your choice. Let me show you. I've got the software running for level up here on the tablet and I'm just gonna take this USB port and I'm gonna plug it into the back of the iLevel AP right here. And if we give it just a second, you'll see that it's gonna connect with the tablet. And there we go. Now it's gonna be doing some stuff inside of the background, calibrations and things like that. But when I said this is fully contained with everything that it needs, I mean it. Watch this. <laughs> so this can give me my pitch, my yaw, my roll, everything. It's good, my heading. Uh, we've got, uh, let me click here, we've got our altimeter that we can set. I mean, there's lots of little things that we can do inside of here. This is a complete system, which is why I'm going to be using this guy as my primary flight device for the airplane. And if you watched the last video, I put an iPad mount front and center of my panel to be able to do this. Now, all of that is really cool, but what's even cooler is the autopilot feature. Because it's like, how do you install an autopilot in something like this? Well, it's a retrofit application, believe it or not. You don't have to tear things apart to, to install it. And you do it with these trim tabs right here. These guys are made out of a hinge and carbon fiber. They have a little balance right here, and they work off of this little servo. That's it. That's all these need to be able to function. Seriously, all I have to do is run a wire to this from the wiring harness that was provided to me. Speaking of which, all of this was provided to me by Level and I'm incredibly appreciative of everything that they've sent over to try to make this airplane super unique and awesome all at the same time. Okay, I've got this guy running on USB power right now. It's hooked up to the harness, which is hooked up to the little servos that are right here. And uh, I've got a little split screen action going on with ForeFlight and the iLevel software. So you can see all the information I need here to fly and then the autopilot. So it's in the off position right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit level. Everything changed right there. We can adjust our heading and altitude, our VSI for how many feet per minute we wanna get there. But uh, yeah, these guys aren't moving right now, but if I pick this up, oh my gosh, look at that. And again, up over here, everything's moving. And this is trying to correct for the crazy pitch and roll and yaw that it's getting right now. And uh, that's actually really, really cool. And now it's officially time to put this in the airplane. Okay, this says align arrow with aircraft, roll access this side up, and uh, okay. That means I'm going to be putting this guy right about, right about there. And there it is. It's all nice mounted. It's not going anywhere. It is aligned. You can see I, I put that line right there to make sure that we're on the roll axis perfectly. And uh, don't worry about all these excess wires and things. Everything's going to get cleaned up um, before we put the top on this. But uh, let's get this uh, wired in. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking while I'm talking again.
All right, this guy is wired in uh, for the most part, just power right now, doing some cleanup with some of that wiring that you can see. Everything is working. We're pitching up just a little bit. I mean, we, we, we are a tail dragger after all. So uh, at least that is making complete sense. So this has three other switches that I need to do. So this switch right here, I'm gonna put right there. That's gonna make it so that it will force the system to use the internal battery inside of that. So that's for an emergency situation where I lose power and still wanna be able to use this as a primary display. Down here, this switch is a servo disconnect switch. So if I have a runaway servo or a problem going on with it, I can just manually push that, boom, it's completely gone. And then the last button that I've got is this guy right here. This is the autopilot disconnect switch. And, uh, you know, obvious reasons for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes and put those guys right down here. Idea being that I can just reach down here and push this. I don't have to search for it with my eyes. I just physically know where it is. And then next to it, I'll go ahead and put that switch for the servo disconnect. Okay, I've got everything wired up inside of here. The buttons turned out perfect. I'm happy with their location. Right now I've got the servos inside of the on position. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn those off. If I come over here, the servos are hooked up, you know, just directly here because still don't have wings on here. And I should be able to, yep, just push these a little bit. So those are out of the way. Now, if I come back over here and turn this switch on. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard that but both of those guys moved into a neutral position. Now, let's go ahead and test the autopilot level. Oh, all of that changed. That's excellent. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, the motors on here are trying to correct for the attitude of the airplane right now, and it's pitched up, so it's trying to pitch it back down. So if we wanna turn those off, should just be able to push this button. There we go, it went to the off position and these guys are completely quiet. That is awesome. Last switch is just right up here. That Again, that's just the battery. So if I switch this on, it'll just bypass all of the electrical coming into it and use the internal battery, which uh, we don't need to test. So this, guys, is absolutely amazing. I realize I'm just telling you guys like the GPS antenna and stuff, I am gonna be installing with the wings and stuff as well. I've gotta put the cowling on and this is gonna go up on top. So uh, that and some of the other antennas that go with it is all coming up. Oh my gosh, I, I don't wanna jinx myself, but this installation has gone so smooth so far and I'm incredibly excited for what we have inside of the airplane. And I wanted to give a huge thank you to Level or, or Level, however it's pronounced, for providing this stuff inside of the airplane. And if you guys are interested in it, I'll leave some links down inside of the description. Over on their website, they have all kinds of products, including the bomb, which I am gonna be strapping to the wing of this thing. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking. It's like, well, what if that guy fails? Well, I've got a backup from Aircraft Automation, which I'm going to be showing you guys in the next video. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Go ahead and give this a like if you liked it. Share it with some of your friends. And as always, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.